everyone, and welcome back to Mew Lives, the Kitten Rescue Cafe. And today we are actually at the vet for an emergency appointment. Oh my goodness. Uh, and we're actually not here with kittens, even though Amelia would absolutely love to be able to be running her little foster procedure at her um, at her cat cafe. Oh dear, and it looks like she's not getting along with Vanessa Trent, who's also here for some sort of emergency uh, at the cat cafe. But we are actually here for our new cat Smokey. <laughs> Look at poor Smokey. Oh my gosh. We volunteered at the very questionable shelter uh, today, actually. It's the same day. It is approaching midnight of the Saturday when Sky was actually able to go and volunteer at the shelter for the first time. And she was pretty terrified of the way the shelter was laid out, the way that the cats were actually thrown outside of the walls instead of inside. Yes, I know that's just the way the lot was set up, but that shelter didn't really click with me. It was really well made if that's what you're looking for but it wasn't really something that clicked with Amelia and she really wanted to do better and so when she saw that one of the shelter cats was this guy who is clearly struggling from like some sort of skin issue to the point where his tail is nothing but bone we had to immediately adopt him and we've brought him on a emergency appointment to this really really adorable little veterinary office I am in love with it I think this is actually going to be the place we're going to start volunteering because it has a little parking lot that we can set up Skye's, um, we can set up her little booth here and we can sell food and other items from this spot. And I like the idea that maybe as time goes on and we use this area more, we can like make it into a cat and dog hangout. In fact, I think I can go ahead and change that right now. Can I change the lot traits? We're going to make it a breeding ground, uh, ironically. <laughs> And we're going to go ahead and make it a cat, a dog friendly. What? You can't make it. You can't make a vet office into a dog friendly and dog hangout area. What on earth? <laughs> um, okay then. You know what? We're going to make this into, hmm, maybe a sunny aspect, maybe a science lab. Uh, and we'll make it into bracing breeze, breezes and then we'll change it to just like a normal generic place when she comes to volunteer and we'll have like strays come hang out. Uh, but that's really funny that you can't make a vet office into, into that, but that's really interesting. But yeah, I think we'll, we'll actually come here. Out of all of the different animal shelters that I've had Sky Tour so far, this is my favorite one that we've stumbled on. And I think that maybe she can start becoming friends with Zach Points, who is one of the vets here. She can start becoming friends with them. And then whenever they have some kittens that need fostered, we'll be able to take them in to, yes, it's literally right next door, to the cat cafe. So I think that'll be a lot of fun, having her build up a friendship with the people who run the vet office. Uh, and the reason I want kittens, just because a lot of you guys have asked about it instead of adult cats like Smokey, is because I'm not really sure when I get to adopt out Smokey now. And we do have to adopt out all of the cats but Clover or else we won't be able to add any new animals into our family over time. But uh, unless they die, which would be really sad. <laughs> But the reason I want to stick to kittens is that once they grow up, I know, okay, now they're adults and we can adopt them out. That gives me a time frame. With Smokey, I don't know how long Smokey should stay. We clearly are going to give him a treatment here at the vet place and we're going to help him regrow his fur and his tail. But I don't know, like, how long Smokey should stay. Maybe that's simply just like, you know what? I have a dice right here. Let's do this. Three days, it says. So we'll keep Smokey for at least three days. And then we can actually put it on the calendar. We'll say it's Sunday. So on Wednesday, we can go ahead and we can add a holiday. And we can say, uh, that's actually really cute, like a kaboom. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Uh, is there a cat? No, there's no pet icons. Hmm. Hmm. So I could put, I, I guess I could do it that way. I could just roll a dice and then make a special event where Smokey could go ahead and be adopted out as an adult. And then maybe I could take a picture of him and put it on the display and whoever buy like put it on her, um, 
Oh gosh. Like I could put smoky. Smoky is uh all better, maybe. Hmm. Or like pet celebration, smoky, or like smokies. Hmm. Vet check. So it could just be like smokies recovery. Recovery sounds so dramatic. Uh smokies adoption day. That even I mean that could work. Uh, and then what we could do is we could make it a festival where what we do is we play with the laser pointer, we pamper pets, we meet or adopt new pets, we, we make, oh, we could make some pet, homemade pet food. That'll do. And then we can give a gift to maybe like whoever adopts him will give pictures that we've taken of Smokey. So I don't know, maybe we'll find a way to adopt out a adult animals if I just like use a dice and we can put down an adoption day. That could work. All right. So Smokey, we're going to keep you till at least Wednesday and we're going to try to make you all better. And then we might set up, what I was trying to say is we might set up this, I can never remember what this is called, uh, basically like the sales table and we'll put a picture of Smokey on the sales table and whoever buys that will adopt them out to their family and I'll also upload him to the gallery. So we'll, we'll figure it out. Like I said, this first season of Mew Lives is going to be so awkward. It really should be Mew Lives, the prequel, uh, as I figure out how I want to play with this because I love adding in those kinds of challenges and kind of building up that kind of story legacy with my Sims. That's how I adore playing. Uh, but let's get a move on. Sky is going to pass out. She went to work today as a caterer. She's still working for the Sour Sweets company who treat her absolutely terribly. But she did go out to a nice breakfast with Nell who wanted to talk about a potential new job opportunity. Uh, so we might become a caterer for a new company soon. And while we wait for Smokey, let's actually go. We need a coffee. But Smokey is going to get treated by Zach Points, the night emergency vet, in just a minute here. And we're so desperate. We're, we probably, like, asked for a coffee. And they're like, yeah, it's eight bucks. Just go upstairs. Help yourself. No, my coffee! I need that. I really, really need that. Oh, gosh. All right. I'm going to have to, like, oh, dear. We're going to pass out. We're going to pass out here. Oh my goodness, where's my my cat? Is my cat good? Are we doing something with Clover? Or not Clover, are we doing something with Smokey? Can I grab that drink please? Smokey, where are you? Zach, did you just up and leave? Did he just close the... We came to you for an emergency vet service this late at night. Okay, procedure in progress actually. Oh no, he just, yay, okay, Smokey. Here we go, buddy. There we are. We're gonna say Smokey just got a great checkup. He has just popped in to the machine. Uh, he technically was just neutered because that was the only thing I could do because he's not actually sick. But we're gonna go ahead and we're actually going to edit him up in Cass and we are going to make him, uh, we're gonna make him look a little bit healthier. All right, here we go. So we're gonna say that Smokey, who is a male adult cat, uh, is here getting his checkup. He has some sort of skin issue, some sort of tail issue. He has these beautiful purple eyes and we're actually going to pull in a little bit of my Sims 4 random genetics. Ah, I feel so good thinking about that. We're gonna pull in a little bit of that as we take care of Smokey. I am going to roll a dice. We are going to go ahead and roll for, let's see, his tail? Yeah, his tail is the first thing. So we're gonna actually roll a dice. We're gonna roll the dice three times. One, two, three. There we go, and his tail is all better. I wanted to give it a chance to see if he actually lost his tail and would become like just a little stub tail cat, or if for some odd reason he had three tails. That, that'd be really surreal, but maybe something went really interestingly weird with like curing him. And then let's go ahead and change his coat pattern, actually. I think that'd be really fun. And we're gonna change it three times again. One, two, three. Oh, look at him. I'm gonna roll again. We're gonna change this color six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so he's a brown cat. And we're gonna change the other color once. Hmm. Hmm, 
he's kind of a yellow cat now. We might change that again. We're gonna roll once for his fur. There we go. So this is what he looks like now, but I, I think well, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe change his top coat color twice, one more time, one, two. Huh, and now he, you know what? <laughs> this is a good, this is a good middle ground. I don't know, I feel like I cheated because he should have like this bright yellow color, but that seems a little bit silly to have on this cat. He's already got very, very purple eyes. Maybe he escaped from our cat cafe. What do I know? And maybe, you know what? Maybe we're gonna go banana themed, like our banana split cat that we had uh, the other day. And maybe we're gonna give him a new name. He was Smokey at, in fact, maybe he is an escaped cat from our Sims 4 random pets genetics challenge. I love that idea. Uh, but we're gonna give him a new name. Oh, he missed his whiskers too. I kind of want to name him like Banana, but we'll name him Bernard. I guess Bernard that doesn't sound like very uh, Bubbles Bernard bounce Hmm, his name was Smokey, but he looks much more banana-y now. Hmm Maybe we'll like heal his eyes up so they aren't purple too Huh? Yeah, let's go ahead I'm gonna roll for his whiskers four times. One, two, three, four. There we go. And let's actually say we gave him some eye drops once it says. He still has purple eyes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know about this. I don't know about this, but you know what? That's that's what we got. I'm really not sure about this very first cat, but I, I wonder if we should just leave his eyes this sort of intergalactic color then. Yeah, I think we will. And I won't I won't change anything else because I do like to bend to the whims of randomness when it comes to how things go. Uh, and banana, uh, let's see, cashew, oh my gosh. Literally, I was thinking like, I guess, actually that makes so much sense that Amelia would name all of the cats that she takes care of after food types, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, uh, that really that really makes a lot of sense. Banana bread, um, banana, he does kind of remind me of a banana now that he's yellow, but he could also remind me of a pudding. Hmm, or maybe a quiche? Hmm. Uh, that does make sense that she would name all of the cats cashew, cashew after after food types though, and he does kind of remind me of a pudding, or a zebra fizz. Um, hmm. Well, yeah, we're gonna go with banana. Banana doesn't sound like a good name for a cat though. Uh, hmm. And Nana sounds like a like a. Eh, you know what, Nana. Nana sounds like a cute name. It sounds like a girly cat name though, but hmm. Hmm. Plantain? Tain? Ten? Hmm. Tian. Tian? After plantain? Tian, the cat. You know what? I like it. Tian. There we go. And apparently he is affectionate. He is a free spirit and he is spoiled. And this is what he looks like after his emergency, his uh, emergency appointment at midnight. It, at the cat, like at the, the vet office. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and, and leave him looking like this. This is really interesting. If he's affectionate, let's see his motions. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, okay, we'll take him. So teen, tain, tin, tian, tian after uh, plantains, basically. I That's perfect. Sky would totally name the cats that she got to rename after food. Oh my goodness. All right. There you go, little buddy. I'm so glad that you're okay. And I think that he is also now neutered just to give us an extra little boost. Look at all the cute little decals. Oh, I love this lot. I absolutely love this. I think that we will become friends with Zachary and we'll go ahead and we will try our best. Come on, drink that. Oh, she's so tired. Work has been making her so exhausted. Who's Justin? Why are we chatting with him? Justin is here. He has Bartholomew Jr. who's very sick. See, and we can help clean up. Oh my gosh, that actually would help out quite a bit. We can help mop. We can clean up to make sure that we celebrate today the best we can. All right, can we pet Tian? There's a lot happening here. Tian? 
I need to drink this before we pass out. <gasps> look, Clover's here and Tian's here. Plantain, oh, you look so much better now that you have had your food, Plantain. And Clover wanted pets. Like, Clover shows up out of nowhere for pets. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Both my cats want pets. I need to drink this, this coffee. I'm begging you. All right, and we have to hurry up. I'm really happy to see you too, Clover, but we really have to hurry up and do a little bit of mopping if we're going to complete. Yeah, she has just enough energy to complete that tradition. And then Tian is quite the chattery cat, but we can go ahead and brush him. Can we fill the love with him? No, we can't. We're not that close to him yet. But there we go. We cleaned. That fulfilled another tradition. Can I sneak in? Pampering a cat. Yes, we have completed all of the traditions for volunteering at the shelter. And here we are at midnight, well after midnight, <laughs> helping out at the shelter. We'll even fill up this food bowl to like give some donations and some thank yous. This is fantastic. Yay, and she's feeling great because she's completed all the traditions. We're about to get a big boost. Volunteer at shelter successful. Volunteer at shelter was awesome. Amelia Sky had a wonderful time and got to do everything she planned to do. Yeah, like adopting this cat. I'm so excited. Tian, it's so wonderful to add you to the family. This is going to be fun. Maybe we will adopt adult cats and we'll we'll take good care of them like that. Because if I just roll a dice and go, oh, we need to like adopt them out on this day, that will help me figure out what to do. Also, today is Sunday, which means that we have to write to grandma. Holy cow, do we ever have a lot to tell her? Um, can we say... Okay, Zach is busy. Did we even get to meet Zach? I don't think we even got to meet him, so we'll have to come back another time and say thank you. And I think this is just the perfect spot to set up, and it's really close, really close to home. So let's go ahead and travel here with Tien, aka Plantain, and Clover. We're gonna go home, and we're gonna go to bed. Thank you guys for your patience too. I know I have been all over with this series. I'm just trying to bite off so much more than I can chew. I'm trying to like adopt all these cats. I'm trying to figure out special requirements that we're going to have for how we adopt them out. I'm trying to get a cat cafe going while climbing up the culinary career for literally the first time ever of doing that in The Sims 4. Um, look at that! And now Tian's here, and he can hang out with Clover. Oh, they can become buddies for a little while. We can train Tian because we actually have to successfully train out more misbehaviors. And we have rescued a cat, even though we're not ready to open up our own cat cafe. Even though, like, we really need to buy so many things and we've hardly been able to get our feet under ourselves career-wise. Like I said, I, I'm biting off a lot more than I can actually chew with a lot of this series, but I am figuring it out as time goes on. So thank you for your patience. I, like I said, season two is probably going to be a lot better. <laughs> All right, but we also have some really great photographs from Amelia Sky Baker. There we go. And this is actually a picture that she took right here with Clover when we were volunteering at the shelter last time. And I just love that. We have Clover, we have the shelter sign in the background, and it's a reminder for Amelia that she wants to go ahead and she wants to promote the animal welfare. Finding Smokey like at the shelter, AKA Plantain slash Tian at the shelter in need of that kind of care uh, and not being taken care of just goes to show that somebody has to stand up for these cats and try to raise awareness about their plight and hopefully she'll be able to do that. Also, she really has to go to the restroom. So let's go ahead. Oh, are you going to eat human food? Yep, we cook a lot of sweets in this house and then we leave like all these cookies everywhere. All right, Sky is going ahead using the restroom. She wants to browse the web because she's so bored. She wants to buy a computer. That actually would be so useful, but I don't think we have enough money for it. Um, oh, that reminds me though. We do have a few things that I need to get out. Because she did actually get the stainless steel auto pot. Sleek and smooth and impeccably crafted, this heat regulating coffee pot has enough processing power to put high-end computers to shame for cuisiners and techies alike. Unlocked at level three of the culinary career uh, or at gold level of the dinner party. Interesting. And it has uh, drink quality five, reliability, uh, drink quality eight, reliability five. 
So I think that's definitely better than our brew coffee machine. Why is it worth zero dollars? <laughs> oh my gosh. So at least we can have a nice coffee now. Oh yeah, and while we're here guys, I actually, since it's Sunday, need to change the trait that we have to change what special trait is going to affect this lot for the next week. But I think we're gonna save that for next time when we'll also write to grandma and we'll tell her how things have been going by writing in our journal. And then we can rummage through the box to see what grandma has sent. And maybe we'll be able to buy a computer or get something going so that we can, we can do more than just live from like pet food bowl to pet food bowl. And we can try it. We can try to do something special. Our fame hasn't budged. Our jobs are everywhere, but that's okay. That's okay. Remember, Siri, we're biting off a lot more than we can chew. We've just got to take it one step at a time. But I'm really glad that Tian is here. He's very, very talkative. I wonder if there's like, give plate to Tian, get to know Tian. Oh my goodness. He's just a very talkative fellow, that's for sure. We'll have to see if he has any misbehaviors to train later. All right, go ahead and go to sleep. There you go, Sky. What a busy day. Oh my gosh. And Clover's come on in. All right, Tian's doing good. Yeah, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. <laughs> but all right, I think that that's probably good for now because I do need to start setting up for the next week. Clover's curious about the new coffee pot. I love his tail. It's so beautiful. Uh, but we do need to start setting up for the next week. So we actually don't get a break from work because we have been promoted to caterer, but I do hope we'll be able to start working a new job soon. Uh, and we need to change the lot type. We need to write to grandma and we need to just prepare. I think Sky, because it's Sunday, I'm going to actually randomize what skill she might work on. And we're going to have her join a random class based on just, I'm going to randomize all of the Sims 4 skills. Whatever skill pops up, we're going to have her join a class dedicated to that skill this week as well, just because she loves to try new things and she tends to overpack her schedule, if you can't tell. <laughs> and we will take good care of Tien. Because he's an adult, there's not really, like, with the kittens, when we adopt them, I'll know when they grow up, oh, it's time to adopt them out and get new kittens. Because he's an adult, we'll just have to, like, roll a dice and put it on the calendar and just kind of, like hang out with him and then put him into the community when the time comes. But I think that will work too. And maybe it'll, it'll leave room to adopt some elder cats and just figure out how to spend time with them too, which will make me very happy. But all right, enough of my yammering. One way or another, we will get there eventually. I, I love Amelia. I love Clover. I, I love the fact that we went to this place at midnight and we're able to take care of uh, poor Poor Tien. Where did you go, Tien? Oh my goodness. He teleports. We're learning new things. Uh, but all right, yeah. Enough of my yammering. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like to leave some treats for our wonderful new cat, Tien. Uh, I'm sure he will look forward to living with some of you guys in your homes one day. He definitely looks like he escaped from our Sims 4 random pets genetics challenge for sure. Oh, and it looks like he has an obsession with the toilet. That's pretty cool. Okay. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, yep. Sure enough, he loves the toilet.